Now a story that's making headlines around the country, one you will only see here on Inside Edition. We are exclusively airing never-before-heard audio of the first conversation Harvey Weinstein had with the New York Times reporters who broke the story of his alleged sexual assaults. On the tape, you can hear Weinstein trying to defend himself as his empire is about to fall apart. Here's Les Trent. Hello? Hello? Hey, hi. Who's on? Harvey Weinstein. The secretly recorded tape was made in 2017. No, excuse me, this is Harvey Weinstein talking. On the phone, Weinstein and two New York Times reporters, Jody Cantor and Megan Tui, who give Weinstein a chance to respond to their investigation. We've found a pattern over three decades of allegations of sexual harassment of multiple women. I think you ought to be specific and tell me who they are and if they're on the record. Weinstein tries to challenge their reporting. There are many mistakes you've made. You want to identify any of them? I, uh, we, we will. I promise you we will. I'm going to say this nicely. Get the facts right. You're journalists. The now disgraced media mogul tries to defend himself. I'm not a saint, but I'm not the sinner you think I am. The reporters ask Weinstein about actress Rose McGowan, who said she was sexually assaulted by Weinstein in 1997. We know that in 1997, you paid um, $100,000 to Rose McGowan following uh, an encounter in a hotel room. Is there anything that you want to tell us about that? Weinstein refers almost every question to his attorney, Charles Harder. I'll let Charles handle that. I think Charles can respond to that. Charles Harder's frequent response? Yeah, I will get back to you on that. We'll get back to you. Yeah, I'm going to get back to you on all of these things. Weinstein did respond soon after, denying any sexual misconduct. Weinstein was in a conference room at his now shuttered offices in the Tribeca neighborhood of Manhattan when the call with the Times reporters took place. They told Weinstein they wanted to record the interview. Standard procedure, they said. We're going to, um, just for accuracy, the sake of accuracy, um, just record this. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with that. Can we, can we forget about that? So then we should assume then that you guys are not recording us? No, we're not recording you. But according to this man, Weinstein was lying. He tells me to tape the conversation. Frank Gill is former head of human resources for the Weinstein Company, which distributed such Oscar-winning pictures as The King's Speech and Silver Linings Playbook. What was... Harvey's demeanor, what was he like? You could just sense that he was fighting for his life. After the call, Frank Gill says Weinstein became paranoid that an insider at his company was feeding information to the Times. I go to Harvey's office, the first thing I see when I walk in is guys wanding the wall for bugs. And he's like, Frank, who did this to me? Frank, you have to help me find who leaked this information. In a lawsuit, Gill says Weinstein promised to pay him $450,000 to find the informants. Gill says he traced the leak to top executives at the Weinstein Company, including Harvey's own brother, Bob Weinstein. I just think they wanted Harvey out. Gill says Harvey Weinstein never paid him, and he says Bob Weinstein retaliated against him for telling his brother Harvey about the leak. Vincent White is Gill's attorney. Essentially, they targeted Mr. Gill because he did his job. He operated in an honest way, and they've decided to harm him because he did that. Two days after the tape was made, the Times published its bombshell story. Weinstein's days as a high-powered Hollywood producer were over, and the Me Too movement was launched. No, excuse me, this is Harvey Weinstein talking. Harvey Weinstein goes on trial for rape and sexual assault in September. He has pled not guilty. Bob Weinstein says the lawsuit against him is entirely without merit.